everyone, this is Sir Tap Tap, and I just felt kind of like I wanted to rant. So, this video is just going to be me ranting and playing a video game since you guys seem to like that. So, don't feel free to not watch because this is not going to be a full, this is not going to be any kind of let's play. This is a game I do love though, and I'm playing it for that reason. Um, I don't want to do a full let's play of it though until I have a lot more subscribers, so, you know, something more than like a hundred people will see it. Anyway, this is Bunny Must Die, by the way. And you really should check it out, it's fucking awesome. But anyway, on to bitching. Um, so, I'm in this big group project for my informatics project. Well, yes, project. For my informatics project class. And so, basically, we're making a group website with a team of three people, myself included, and my group mates. Um, do pretty much the worst web design and coding and planning I've pretty much ever experienced. It's it's really bad. The um, like it's a simple website, but they will take a they will take a task, like something that requires one single function. I could write this task using a single page. And all you have to do is pass in a string, a sentence basically, to that page, and everything the entire site could be done with one single web page, one address in your URL, in your address bar. Instead, they have 40 pages. They have, well, it's probably more like 20 to be honest. But all of these different pages, and all of them do something slightly cosmetically different, and. All of them have completely different URLs, and it's just so fucking ugly, both in terms of looking at it from the code perspective and looking on it on the website, and it makes maintenance a massive bitch. See, if I did my one page idea, in order to fix something, I have to change one page. If I want to change something with the 20 page idea, I have to change 20 pages, and then I have to change every single page on the entire website that references any one of those 20 pages. Whereas if it was one page, I change one thing, and as long as everything still references that page right, I don't have to change anything else. It just makes everything so simple, and they don't ever do that, ever. It's so amazingly terrible, and it, it really, like, physically freaking pains me when I see pretty much any of their work I'm gonna die because oh my god I just look at their shit and I think wow they just made eight pages and I could have done that with the single page and it would have been more efficient oh, I have a different weapon and so it would run faster for both client and server it would be ideal and at the same time it would be easier to read easier to write, easier to maintain. And, but the fun thing is, due to how we work um, and submit things, it looks like they did eight pages of work when they really just basically bashed their skull into a metaphorical wall for a few hours instead of coding. So it, but it looks like they did more work because they have all of these tons of pages that do a bunch of retarded shit. But I have this one page that does all kinds of awesome shit. Well, it's not that awesome, but it does what it's supposed to do. Their, their pages also don't do what they're supposed to do, so that's additionally special. Anyway, I just... Oh, it's terrible. And another fun thing they do with the website... I don't know how many of you are actually familiar with web design and shit and just HTML, but... They make everything into a table. If you don't know what a table is, think basically an Excel spreadsheet. Everything is set up to be formatted like that. That is good when you're using database inputs because that basically is like a spreadsheet. So, yeah. Because, you know, you're using a table for what's actually a table. That makes sense. But they do things like make forms into tables. They made a set of links into a table. And you know, why does this matter? Because when I applied style to the web page, 
to the the whole site then I did something to make all of the tables look pretty but then all of the lists of links all of a sudden turned technicolored because of what I did to the tables to make the tables look readable all of a sudden makes all of the form things look ridiculous because they're tables for no fucking reason it's hard to explain if you've never done web stuff but just imagine one of those you know um, important links things on a website and every row is a different color because it's being treated like a table and it's just disgusting and I hate it and I want to hit them in the head with some sort of large object and they always insist that using one page you know using good design doing a single page for a single type of function would be somehow more work it's like with their plan in order to edit something you have to change uh, 20 fucking pages with my plan you change one page I do change one page I change this stuff fairly often and it's extremely easy if I have to change their stuff I have to make the same change to 20 pages Ugh, and it's just like wow and they really do genuinely think that it would be harder to make a single web page that's slightly more flexible and you know it is slightly harder to make one web page that does a general thing than it is to make one web page that does a specific singular thing but once you're making two web pages that do that same thing you may as well just make the general page and when you're making 20 pages you definitely want that single fucking web page for about a thousand fucking reasons they also have about 800 different search pages so there's a bunch of different tables to get your data from they have a different search page for each one of them and they have a different search for each and every field in those tables so I can search for and only for the first name of people or the second name of people or I could search for their you know their identifier number or their email and there's a different field for each and every one of those for each and every field so you know there's about 800 different search options you know more accurately probably over a hundred honestly it's pretty ridiculous and so basically what we need for one thing is just one page that displays the information about a donor and you just take in the name or the number of that donor and you display the info but they turn to that into another search the problem is you never need to use that page unless you already know the donor you're looking for and there's already a way to do that it's like I already have Google and you'd only be going to this page from Google but the way they want to do that is that once you get to that page from Google with the information you want to actually get to the actual information you want you then have to search for it again from the information you got from Google in the first place so you're googling after you Google so you can Google more Googles it's pretty much pretty much what they're doing and it makes me want to vomit it's pretty fun it's special. It's really special. Ugh, I hate. I uh, I shouldn't say hate, but really, these people drive me crazy. Like really, really, really crazy. And they sit there the whole time. I'm I'm telling them like, oh, all you have to do is this. I could do it for you. Blah blah blah. Really simple, easy stuff. Just do what I say let me do it because you know they admittedly don't know exactly what they're doing so it's not like they know what they're doing and I'm just oh unilaterally going oh I'm gonna do this for you my way you know I should do that but I'm not because I'm nice kind of but yeah they then insist they have to do it this way because I don't fucking know they just want search functions out the ass they like, I think at this point they must just deliberately like doing extra unnecessary work that doesn't actually perform its necessary function. That's the fun thing. Okay, so the thing I'm bitching about is our tax page, tax info page. So, it is now 
they have this massive search thing with multiple fields now. You don't just search for tax info. You have to pick which fields you want to search for. Then enter your search query. You might not even know what a search query is. But you have to know to use this. It is the most unusable shit ever. And I'm big in on usability, so I hate them extra for that. Oops, not this. But yeah. What was I saying? I forget what I was saying. Giant kitty. Oh yeah. It so it's supposed to find your tax info. So you enter in the way it ultimately is going to find something is to take the donor's identification number and give you all of their uh, donations. So I did a simple search using the donor identifier. It doesn't actually find anything. Um, I tried multiple searches. I know everything that's in that database because I put it there. They also don't know how to use the database at all. I do all of the database work. You know, I do all of the functioning work basically. So. That's just awesome. And these are people that they're supposed to have already completed a database course. At least one of them I know did. So we were talking about it. But they don't have any program to operate on the database. And they don't seem to understand like jack shit about it. They literally just copy the queries that I've made in my pages, and they're like, oh, I copy this query from this, and it doesn't do this because I'm actually using it for something totally different, but, uh, could you fix this? <laughs> it's like, God damn it. You know, if you want me to do something, just ask me to do it. Really. I mean, if you have no idea what to do, you know, I could either A, ask me to teach you how to do it, because in this case, I do know how. Or just really ask if it would be okay if I did it. Because I want shit to work. I like, I like shit that works. I like shit that looks nice and functions properly. It's, it's very nice to have a website that actually does what it's supposed to and is usable for an ordinary user. It's, you know, something of a holy grail for, you know, team computer interaction people or people that aren't retarded. Yeah, that's picky people like that. It's very picky to want a website that's not retarded. Ow. Ugh. I'm not sure why you're watching, but... I just really wanted to bitch, and I wanted to play this game. And I thought, hey, I can make a video of me bitching and playing a game. I make lots of videos of me bitching and playing games. What else can I bitch about? Oh! You know what's really weird? Everyone in the world, for some reason, thought it was just the most urgent thing last night to inform me that Osama Bin Laden was in fact dead. Um, I got a couple of instant messages, like, min instant messages within like an hour of the event. Um, my Ponychan chat group also brought it up to me. Like, not specifically to me in that case, so that I could kind of understand. Then I got a call from my parents about it. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, are we? Did I miss some sort of family event, or is this some sort of family emergency? Nope, they're just they're just calling to say, hey, Osama bin Laden's dead. I thought you should know. It's like, did did I become the president? Wouldn't I didn't I didn't realize this? I did not realize that I'm Barack Obama. I mean, if I am Barack Obama, I you probably should tell me if like Osama bin Laden has died. I would I would hope he's on in the loop on this. But uh other than that, I'm not sure what was the most important thing. Oh, and <laughs> someone knocked on my door. Um I think they knocked on everybody's door on the floor, but still <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. I was expecting I knew Facebook was going to be fucking exploding every social media or old media website was going to be exploding, but I didn't realize that people really thought that I personally, like, cared about this. I mean, yes, he's dead, that's... I'm kind of glad that everyone really is just like, oh, he's dead, that is good. <laughs> and not going with the whole bullshit of, oh, he should have been captured and brought to justice and blah blah blah. It's... 
Oh, right. Good to see some people admit that, you know, sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta die. But... Really didn't care that much. Really didn't need phone calls and email. Aw, oh, shit, this thing. And... I was expecting emails, not... Not constant instant messages and phone calls. I was not expecting phone calls. Because, I mean, does it really affect my life at this point? I really did not care. I mean, it's good, but... I would have heard on the news. I watch... Well, I don't watch news. I read news. Sometimes. I usually read FARC.com, but they get big news stories like that. It's like Drudge, except it's not made by one guy. It's also... A lot not like Drudge, really. But still. They're a news aggregator. So if something happens, I know it because of FARC. Because... They will have some headline making fun of whatever happens, and I find that I find that much more informative than like CNN and all that bullshit. Because you know, at least I can expect people on FARC to be stupid, but you know, when it's um, all of these major media outlets, you know, all the cable news things, and they're that retarded, I'm like, shit, son, what the what what's your fucking problem? You know, when it's just some asshole on the internet. I, you know, I can expect less of them. Yet I get more from them. They're generally less retarded. And when they are retarded, it's usually at least they're just trolling or making a joke or something. They're not, like, legitimately, or I'm li wolf blitzer, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't have anything specifically against Wolf Blitzer. He's just about the only newscaster whose name I actually know. Not sure why I know either. I think he's the CNN dude. I don't know anyone from Fox News or NBC or any of that shit. Does Jay Leno count as a news... Do Jay Leno or Colbert count as news anchors? I know them. Alright, can't go up there. I love this game. It makes the pain go away. Which is funny because the first time I went through, this was like one of the most difficult games I ever played. It's... If you don't know exactly what you're doing, it can be extremely difficult. It's very Mega Man like that. It's a, it's a Metroidvania type of game, if you didn't guess. It's really quite hard, and it does lots of stuff to trick you. But, I guess part of the thing is I know all the tricks now. I know them quite well. And as far as the actual difficulty, I can beat pretty much everything with very little trouble. Oh, I didn't even think I'd get that. All right. What else is there to bitch about? Oh yes, my semester's ending, so I should be finishing a presentation right now instead of playing this stupid game. But I'm not. I am not. It's simpler than I thought, which um, it's probably a bad thing, really, because I just decided to ignore it. I started working on it. I got a draft out, and I just kind of ignored it past that point. It's really simple. Um, well, the actual topic will take a bit of explaining to do in class, but it's almost so complex that I can get away with saying less about it. Like, there's uh, nine authors on the paper, and usually we're supposed to give a little, everyone gives a little description of each author, but I'm just going to be like, okay, these are people from Brown University, and this one asshole is from, where was he from, Uni University of Florida or something. Um, they are in the computer science department, and that's all I have to say about them, because there's fucking nine of them, seriously, on one paper. Like, people would, were giving, like, elaborate backstories, like it was fucking... They're giving, like, exposition on their lives, and like... Oh, so-and-so is, like, the name in his field for blah blah blah, and he wrote this paper and this paper. And then they're like, oh, I ran out of time. How on earth did I run out of time while I was talking about all this bullshit? Sometimes I wonder when, how I run out of time when I'm constantly talking about bullshit. But then I remember why. No, open. Very good. I used to hate this room so much, let me just say that. It's hard to express until you actually try and do it. And then I learned that you can cheat and do this. But, I feel feisty today. 
Let's do this the right way. Fuck. But these guys are gonna fuck you up, so... Let's do this. Do this again. It requires so much concentration that I had to stop talking. You know that... Are you shitting me? First try. Well, first try once I killed those things. That used to be... I swear I must have done that 20, 30 times the first time I came through. And now... Every time I come to this room, all I have to do is this. You're not supposed to know how to do that. Um, but it was, it was intentionally put in the game, because to get some of the secrets, you actually have to do that, so... And it makes going around the game a lot easier. Normally I'd be pissed off at that, but in this game, I'm just glad to know that. I actually really like it. It lets you... I just like the- I just love the control this game gives you. Oops. Shit. I like having control in my video games. Do I sound OCD today? I probably do. I feel OCD today. I- though I'm not so OCD that I feel about nitpicking the actual definition of OCD. Because most people really mangle it the fuck up. Being a perfectionist does not make you OCD. There are very specific and very unusual behaviors you actually exhibit. Mostly what what most people would consider OCD. It's really more typical of obsessive compulsive personality disorder, OCPD, which while unfortunately named is not, you know, directly related to OCD. You know, it's like seeing it's not quite the same, but it's almost like saying being sad, you know that's the same as, you know, clinical depression. There are lots of different uh, gradients of depression definitions, too. I don't remember any of them. I'm not a clinical psych person. I am a psychology person. I'm actually the graduating in May in ugh, in informatics and psychology with a, what is it, a cognate in human-computer interaction for the informatics bit. Basically, that means I do, well, I'm interested in research and work to make computer systems and such more usable for, fuck, what do I do to this guy? For um, users in general or specific subsets of users. There we go. Oh, you bitch. Forgot about this. Um, so yeah, that's what I love to do. I like. Um, that's why I'm getting into web design now. And web design lets me design via code, which I'm. I'm not a drawer and stuff, so I've always liked art and shit, but I could never do very much with it. But with web design, I can make a really pretty web page with. Mostly with, well, only code, and it's pretty nice. So gonna die. You have so much health, I hate you. Ow. Oh well. Ugh. And I forget what I was talking about again. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of web design, I meant to show off my uh, Pony Chan theme. On, uh, I'll do it on video someday when I feel like it. Wait, I have so little health. What the hell? Oh well, back to save point. I'm surprised I'm still recording after 20 minutes. I must have really needed to rant. I've also gotten a sizable way through this game already. I've beaten, what, three bosses out of seven or so? Damn it. Can't make that jump anymore. Yeah, stop. Go. This is also why I haven't been in a good mood for Minecraft. Minecraft decided to fuck up again, so I quit. Again. I was playing Skylands, and... I used a bed was what actually broke something. And now my character constantly seizures. Ow. Okay, that defeated the... Oh, fuck. I can't get back, can I? Oh, yes I can. Well, that was dangerous. Um, 
What was I talking about? Okay, so I used a bed, and then my character started seizing, and then, well, I can't move anymore, and I can't take damage, so I can't kill myself. So there's basically nothing I can do at all. Wait, there was a... Oh, right. You! Ah! You dick! This game loves to do that, and I love that about this game. This game is a dick. This game wants to kill you. Normally that would annoy me, but... At the same time, it's not quite as mean as Super Meat Boy. That was a bad idea. Shit! Oh, I need health. That was a retarded idea, actually. Alright, what else can I bitch about? Oh yes, um, I put myself in for way too much work for this uh, human-computer interaction course thing. Basically I need to write a program for an app for Android operating system. For, you know, the smartphones. And all it really is, is a form. And, well it's a form, and then while you're taking the form it gives you some annoying notifications. And that's pretty much the point of it, just the notifications, but I just really don't want to code it. And it's almost made worse by the fact that I only need four participants for the uh, quote-unquote trial. This is just a pilot study. So, I just really, really don't want to do it, and I haven't done it. And I should, my study should be, like, done by now. But I haven't done anything. But I can get four friends real- Oh, son of a whore! I forgot, this room does that to you. I don't even remember how frustrating this game must have been the first time I played it. Alright, save. Sort of weird that this game just calms me down now that I can control it like amazingly well. Mega Man games feel like that to me too. Once I can actually play them. They start out amazingly frustrating, but then when I can actually do the shit that it requires you to do, you just feel like fucking leet hacks, god player. It's pretty fun. The unfortunate thing is that since no one has ever heard of this game, um, you know, it's not like I can brag about beating um, Bunny Must Die, which isn't even the technically the correct name of the game. But I just love the game. I don't even brag too much about you know being able to beat shit. It just feels good to be able to do it. You whore. Get over here. My rage is now centered on you. Ow. Stop shooting lasers at my ass. My ass does not need any lasers. I had a discussion with my optometrist about this. I'm not, I don't remember what an optometrist is, and I'm pretty sure that does not have anything to do with my ass. But he still said that lasers in my ass was a bad idea. I'm going to go Google. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to forget that I was wondering what an optometrist is. It's some sort of doctor person, I don't know. You whore. I hate you. Why can't you die? You can't die, you're just not. You're a bitch. <laughs> no! Whatever! I love the rewind function in this. probably not using this weapon. This weapon is so awkward, I hate it. Ugh. Why can't I dodge right? Someone tell me why I can't dodge right. Ah! Lasers in the ass. Lasers in the face! Lasers everywhere. Lasers shouldn't be there. Lasers shouldn't be any of these places. It's just wrong. Ooh, nice dodge. Got a bit of a haircut there. My hair's already short enough, though. Look at that. It's like a frickin'... I don't know what you call that, but it's short. Ah, oh, Short Asian hair, kind of. Well, short anime hair, not Asian hair. Not sure any sort of real person has hair like that. I'm completely random, aren't I? I promise if I did a Let's Play of this game, I would actually say stuff about the game. And I don't just mean bitching about lasers in my ass. Ow, spikes hurt! Did you know that? The video games have taught me important things, like the fact that spikes actually do hurt. Oh god. And lasers hurt, also. 
Not as much as you'd think, though. You'd think lasers would, like, cut you in half or something. No, they just kind of hurt. Kind of burn. These are sort of, these are, like, low, low, these setting. these are on, like, low. Uh, these phasers are set to stun or something. I don't know. I don't, how can you have a laser that stuns, anyway? Wouldn't it just burn? I don't know how Star Trek stuff is supposed to work. Why were you just sitting there? I'm just like, yeah, look at me, I'm a boss. You can't reach me, because you're using that fucking sword. This is the worst weapon to use against this character. Ah! Fuck! Bitches. Get money. I had to say that. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay. I'm terrible. I'm beating this bitch on camera though. Just she 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 pissed me off. I'm gonna kill her. This is how you resolve problems, kids. You hit people with a gigantic fucking mace until they stop embarrassing you in public. It's led to so many awkward family reunions, but it works. It really does. Oh, come on. I hate you so much, lady. And you know what? You're like the, the the icon for my favorite indie gaming developer, and I still hate you because of this. Look at this. I don't care if you're a really nice logo. You're shooting lasers at me. I draw the line at lasers. I draw the line with lasers. So that's what you're supposed to do. It's really more like a glitch than anything. All right. Another boss time. Wait, I have the worst weapon. But whatever. Boss time. Hey, bitch, let's kill you. Even though you speak German, that doesn't make you cool. Also, oh god. Don't, that's... Ow. Don't touch this guy. He's he's pretty creepy. Ow. Well, I stopped ranting I started talking about the game, so I guess I've calmed down. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Then I will end the video. I want to kill him. Oh! Damn it. Fucking cheap instant kills. He takes so fucking much damage from that stomp. I love it. I see you. Oh god, I don't want to see you in that manner. Please stop that immediately. Very good! Alrighty. Thanks for watching if you did watch me rant for like a half fucking hour. Next time on I bitch a lot, hopefully I don't have to do another one.